All right, hello and welcome to this video. This is about identifying the Kula Maggi style setup candidates for September 2023. Um, last time I made a video like this for August, um, it was very well received. It seems that the name Kula Maggi, you know, drew quite a lot of people to this channel, um, which is which is very nice and very happy about it. But at the same time, I also want to direct your attention to the other stuff I have going on on this channel, okay? So most notably, um, I do a lot of futures trading. So every day there's a morning meeting. Um, there are review videos, stocks in play videos. Um, and then more recently, um, looking at uh, bot trading, right? So I'm a programmer and um, I published a video a few days ago, uh, trading the S live with, with the bot. So you might find that interesting. There will be a whole series about how to program the stuff and, and concepts that that might work um, and yeah you might want to check that out so what do they always say subscribe like comment stuff like that I usually never say that but you know if you want to stay in a loop you can do that right okay guys so what I want to show you in trading view is one thing because I'm basically recording this video for the second time the first time my recording software just flapped out on me um, so let's let's take a look here i have two i have two watch lists okay for this cooler maggie stuff i have the stocks that are up at least 25 percent over one month and then stocks that are up at least 50 percent over three months you can make a case and say this should actually be even more than 50 percent because they have you know triple the time um maybe you want to use 75 percent or something else but with cooler maggie it's always the same thing he wants a strong push up that's why we are working with these fairly high percentages. Then he wants to see a consolidation, a pullback, um, a volatility contraction, and then he wants to see a burst out of that volatility, right? That's basically what, what his setups are. And if you want to learn more about it in the previous video, what, you know, do Kula Maggi, when, when do Kula Maggi style setups work? I was referring to another channel where, you know, there's, there's a nice explanation of his setups. So you might want to check that out okay so how do i get these stocks these are already the september ones how do i get them into the list here in trading view you can click on stock screener and then it brings up something like this and a lot of people um, they usually get a little bit confused because if you click on this thing here one month change in percent it gives you just stocks that are up like a single digit or maybe this one is up 13%, but you will probably wonder why is this so little? Well, the reason is this only gives you the current month, right? So this is only Friday because Friday was September the 1st, right? And this is only Friday. This is for the actual current calendar month. If you want to see what was actually happening over the last four weeks, you know, and basically not looking at, um, you know, just the, the calendar month. You have to do this a little bit differently. Let me just try to zoom out here. So we have to click on this thing and then we type in performance. And then we get all this listing. And do you see this down here where it says monthly performance? You can also do this with weekly, by the way. This is monthly performance. You just click on that. This will add another column. So let me just take out all the other stuff we don't need right now. I'm going to leave in the three months performance though because it's the same story. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Whoops. This is, oh yeah, by the way, this is what the filter looks like. Um, I appreciate the feedback um, that I got through for our community. Um, I basically replace the ADR, the average daily range that Kula Maggi uses to find stocks that are really moving with the volatility per month and percent, right? This is actually the accurate way of, of doing this, of filtering for those stocks, okay? So you can take a screenshot of this thing and then adjust your, your scanner on TradingView in, in the same way, right? You basically get at least half a million shares traded every day over various time periods. Market cap, at least two billion, um, price above $10, and that's pretty much it. And then this volatility, you know, at least 4% on the month, right? Okay, let me close that. 
And now you can see there is a new column here. It's called monthly performance. You can sort by it. And then you get all these names, VFS, TDS, APLS, and so on that I already have here, VFS, TDS, APLS, and so on, right? These are the ones that are up at least 25%. And then if you want to end up with the other list over three months, you basically just have to go here, three month performance, click on that. And now we have Kavana, TDS, VFS, XPath. You see all the names are here, same order. These are all the ones you can find. Okay. So this is a little trick you need to use when the current month that you're interested in has already started, right? Because again, if you only use this one month change thing, this is only including data for Friday. That's when they start counting, basically. Right? All right, so let's um, make this a bit smaller and let's take a look at these candidates here and see what, what they can actually tell us about the state of the market. Is this a good environment for Cooler Maggie style trading this month? This is nothing here, so to say. This is just a parabolic short in Kula Maggie's world. Maybe he shorted it up here, right, from 90 going down to 30 or something. Um, because this doesn't meet any of the criteria of, you know, a nice, fairly controlled move up, you know, respecting the moving average, then a, then a pullback, consolidation, volatility contraction. This is not here. This is just parabolic. It shoots up. And then it collapses. So this is nothing. This one here also, you know, you get a bit of a pullback here in consolidation, but this is not nothing really in the, in the Kula Maggie world, this thing. It, it just isn't, right? You don't want these gaps and these big pushes. You want a gradual, nice move up and then, you know, like something like this, right? Always respecting the moving average. If you look at the background here for TDS, um, they're actually not making money. Um, it's not your typical growth stock. There's just speculation that somebody might actually buy them, from what I understand, because their earnings are not good at all. They don't make money or, you know, the revenue is just a very stagnant company, it seems, right? So this is also nothing interesting. APLS, look at this. This is interesting. Not in my book. I don't think this is a cooling setup at all, right? DLO, again, gap on earnings, and a lot of them have these earnings gap because they're just coming out of earnings seasons, right? And then back and then up. I don't think this is, a, this is a setup. Same for this thing here, gap up from earnings, pulled back a little bit, but there isn't really much consolidation or vol contraction. And obviously, you don't even need to look at the volume here because it's just one candle, and then it goes up again. Okay. There is no period of real consolidation. Same here. This is all over the place. It gaps up, comes back down, partly into the gap, and then goes up again. We don't get these consolidation zones. I just want to show you one thing real quick in Ari. See, longer term, right? It's breaking out of the base here. You see this? This might be interesting. If, if you trade stuff like this, maybe that's a candidate for you. I don't know. You make the decisions. Um... App loving, yeah, non-stop up, but where's the pullback? Where's the consolidation? We haven't seen it yet at all, right? But this is this is probably one of those stocks down the road that might be interesting. Right? This is up like 400% or something, I guess, ever since earlier this year. Maybe we'll get a pullback, right? But, you know, right now there's nothing. Celsius, similar story, is just going up, but, you know, we're not consolidating right now. It was more story here when it went up, then sideways for a little bit, but then earnings came again, right? This is just an earnings play. Right? Fastly, also not pulling back right now, not consolidating. Pretty wavy price action. I have to see which moving average might fit this the best. I'm not going to bother with dealing with the moving averages because they're always different for each of them. Obviously, Kula Megi likes the 10 simple moving average, 20, maybe the 50 sometimes, right? Yeah, this is not a setup, right? It's just a gap up on earnings and now it's, you know, doing its thing. This one here, nothing. A firm, straight up. This is also just like um, array or what it's called array or whatever. Um, 
this is coming out of this base, right? If you zoom out, look at this, right? This was the high fly end of 2021, broke down and now basing, and now it's starting to break out of the base. Interesting, maybe for something longer term, I don't know. But is this a cooler Maggie setup right now? No, it's not. So what can we say after looking at the stocks for the best performance of last month? There is no, there is not a single setup right now. This is nothing. There are mostly earnings gaps, or really going up a lot, or maybe there was this parabolic thing or takeover candidate, but it's just junk, right? There is nothing in there. There are only 12, 12 stocks we actually found, and three months only 15. If I bring this, if I tighten this up and say 75% performance, I get even less, right? But let's look at them. Here's Kavana. Right, this is more like tightening, right? Consolidating. You can look at the volume here. Yeah, the volume was getting really low here, right? So maybe this was something. And then it went up again, right? This is the breakout candle here. TDS we looked at, VFS we looked at, XPath. I have drawn a 618 here, because I was wondering if there's Maybe something going to come down to 618 again. Not quite, right? And then it reverses back up again. So if you want to find alternative entries to Kula Maggie, maybe you can work with FIP retracements or something. For example, right? 618, you try to buy that 618 or in between 486, 618 and put a stop, I don't know, between 618 and 786 or something. There's so many ways because Kular Maggie has a 75% fail rate on, on his entries. It's going to drive most people nuts and out of the game. Is this a Kula Maggie setup? No. There's a catalyst of some sort and then it just comes back and back all the time. It seems there's no follow through strength here at all. Not a setup right now. Nothing. Burning scap again, right? You know. Also going up. Also just going up. Upwork. Same thing, earning scale, right? And then shop. I don't know what this is here. Some coffee company. This is what they all look like. Look at this one. Right? So right now they're not setting up. Not setting up. So this Rivian thing here. Yeah, but you have a real issue here with moving average because it came back so much. Just interesting in drawing. Yeah, also between 486618. If you really anchored where the move started, if you anchored down here, it's different, but you can use stuff like that maybe. Right. You can see here actually vol uh, volume actually dried up a little bit, but also price continued to ease down, so it's, it's really not ideal. So if you look at all this, how many setups do we have right now? There's basically nothing. And if you add, if you have to write timing, um, you need to be like this kid in the candy store, right? I was talking about it um, the other time when I recorded the Kula Maggie videos. Um, it, it should be really hard to make a decision because they all look good. They all have good setups. But right now we don't have that. We just don't have it. So what does that tell you about the market? Market is it's just not really conducive to it now, right? I mean, we can work with all kinds of stuff here. But most notably, if you want to use um, moving averages or something, right? And I did that when I already recorded it, so I'm not going to show this again. But if you want, you can put a 10 simple moving average and a 20 simple moving average in this chart. And you will see that right now the 10 simple moving average is not above the 20 simple moving average. It's just, let, let me just show you that in pairs. So let's turn this into 10. And the other one to the 20. I'm going to show it. And this will make 20, right? 
So we are just starting to go up, but this happens all the time and then price might actually ease back and this will get a crossover yet again. In the S, we don't have that yet, right? The NQ is most interesting for Kula Megistar because it's mostly growth stocks, that's why they move so quickly. Um, so there's a little bit here of a crossover, but you know, this this could also fail, right? If you look at um, this stuff here, this is um this is a fifth level. We are anchoring the high with the low here, and now we add a six one eight pullback. Six one eight is an important number because price might actually fail here and reverse. We actually do this. This can happen at 618. And then this crossover would be kaput of the 10 and the 20, right? But also if you use a more sophisticated, well not sophisticated, but if you use another indicator, um, I showed that also in the last videos, um, which is basically, you know, based on these crossovers, 10 and 20 simple moving average, they, they give it a few more days to see if there's really follow through, right? So it's still too early to make any assumptions here. I, I would be mindful that we are sitting at 6182, right? All right, guys, that is pretty much it. So right now, I don't think it's the right market environment. There are no setups for Kulamegi Maggie style stuff. This can all change in a few weeks or whatever. But working with the high performers, they don't look that interesting right now. They would actually, actually suggest that they need pullbacks, right? So if they do what 90% of the market is usually doing when the index is weaker or whatever, then uh, yeah, it's a waiting game. And Kula Maggi is not posting content right now. There's no Twitch streams or anything as far as I know. So that's also a sign that this might not be the right environment right now. Okie dokie. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to explore the rest of this channel. Kula Maggi is just a tiny little part of it. Um, and yeah, have a nice weekend, guys. Bye-bye.